Nears will remember that on the morning of the storm, the great farmer left Kadamper for Tanjavur. He followed the usual route up to the Kaladak River and then turned westward along the Kaladak Kare Road. He did not want to make a long journey through the Chola villages. He wanted to go west and cross Kaladam straight to Tiraveyaru. As usual, the great hunter did not set out with hundreds of retinues at this time. He thought that he should not attract anyone's attention as long as he could come and go. So he took only ten people with him. When Palyavetarayar arrived at Kaladam on the north bank of Thiruvayaru, the flood in that great river was reaching both banks. It was impossible to take horses in the small boats there. There were signs of a hurricane. So leaving the horses on the north bank, Palyavatarayar boarded the boat with the ten soldiers who had accompanied him, so that it would be convenient for him to return. As the boat was moving down the river, the storm intensified. Both the boatmen steered the boat with great difficulty. The speed of the river flood pulled the boat eastward. The storm pushed it westward. The rowers tried to steer the boat southward. Caught between these three forces, the boat turned round and round. A great storm was raging in the heart of the reaper. It is normal for Nandini to lose his wits when he is in front of her. Everything she says seems right to him. When Nandini tells him to do something that he has disliked all his life, he feels that it is worth doing. Even if there was a little doubt in any mind, his mouth would say, OK, OK. Let's do it. Having said that, he doesn't want to break his promise and do anything. Even now, when Nandini asked him to go to Tanjore and bring Madhurand Hagar, he agreed. After the departure of the journey, many nagging doubts arose in his mind in this regard. He did not think that Nandini's behavior could be so tainted as an atom. However, the thought that we had left Nandini alone in the midst of three young men with a common passion often appeared in his mind and pained him. He had reasons for enmity with all the three, Kanamaran, Vandiyathevan, and Aditha Karikalan. When he and Nandini were on their way to the treasure dungeon in the middle of the night, Kanamaran confronted him and referred to Nandini as his daughter which was etched in his heart like a hot iron. In the enmity that arose at that time, he secretly ordered the guard to kill him. He regretted it later. Somehow Kanamaran survived. How he survived? how he killed the dungeon warden, he still couldn't figure out. After that he could not forget that Kanamaran stayed in his palace for a few days and Nandini served him diligently. Then Vandiyadeva is also in Kadapur. The first time he saw the preacher, he didn't like him. Then his hatred increased when he learned that he wanted to warn the emperor alone at Tanjavur and that no one had escaped from the Tanjore fort without his knowledge. At that time he did not forget that Chinapalyavatareya had specifically said that Nandini might have helped him escape. That could never be truer. Because it has come to be known that he is the private messenger of Kundave Prati and Prince Arulmazai. So he and Nandini cannot have anything to do with each other. However, every time he thought of him and Nandini together, the iron heart of the great gardener burned hot. Then there is Adithakari Kalar. He had heard that he had once wanted to marry the daughter of a temple patron and that she was Nandini. They have just met. Why one thing is for sure, Aditha Karikalan can be a great villain. May be disrespectful to elders. But he came from Chola clan. No one in that clan has ever committed a betrayal that would lead to death. Karikalan is also unrepentant in his behavior towards women. But Nandini... Is it right that he has trusted her so far and done everything according to her wishes? Are you sure there is no pollution in her behavior? Her ancestry still doesn't suit him. Her brother Kalan Takakandan has repeatedly warned her about her without telling her. What my brother said will go right. Will Nandini betray her? Aha! Telling stories. Are there really such deceitful women in the world? Nandi is one of them. At the thought of this, the great Palyavatarayar's heart burned with enmity, but at the same time, his passion for Nandini also ignited. In order to forget the pain caused by this, Pulvatarayar shook his head and cleared his throat. It was only the memory of being among ten men that prevented him from striking his forehead with his large paws. Unbeknownst to him, 
big deep breaths were coming. Gripping the edges of the boat and gritting his teeth, he said, I will know all the facts in two days. I will never do the same mistake again. He thought that. 